1991, birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony, until one day a young man catches fire. This is Phoenix. What's going on guys? Happy hump day. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Reno, Nevada. In the desert we go. What is going on guys? Hope you all had a great Wednesday. We are back in Microsoft Flight Sim. And we're just in, uh, what the hell is going on there? We're just in uh, Reno, Nevada, and I haven't flown to my favorite destination in Canada before, which is, um, in a while, I mean, which is Vancouver. So uh, I think it's been, a, it's, been a, it's been a minute, as they say, uh, since we've been to Vancouver. So I picked kind of like a suitable location to give us a nice uh, one and a half, two hour flight and uh, block times around two and a half hours today. So it should be fun. Again, a happy Wednesday, happy hump day. We're almost there to Friday, and we can get things started. We got Haminari and Scott in the house. All right, I am on Vatsim. I know it looks deserted, but guess not a lot of pilots want to be flying out of Reno today. So we got the beautiful airport all to ourselves, which is completely fine with me. We'll just hop on CTAF and uh, we'll get things started. So here we go, back in the A320. I did get the uh, Boris uh, 
sound pack for the CRJ, but I haven't uh, had a time like had any time to mess with it at all. So I thought it was a little bit of uh, a rush for me to do it today. But decided to go with the A320. It's always a win with the beautiful Phoenix. And uh, Eric Condor is in the house. What's what's going on, Eric? Did you end up coming down to uh, Toronto on the eclipse day or what? Let me get a little snapshot here. We'll get kick things started. We'll get things started with a screenshot. That looks like a good, pretty sexy angle to me. We are United Airlines 236 service out of Kilo Roma, uh, Romeo November Oscar. You sure did. It was awesome. Nice. What What did you take? Rouge? How did you get here? Pretty cool. Alright, let's hop in the pit and go to our beautiful EFB. So, uh, never mind the time. Reno to Vancouver. Uh, we have that in here. Let's check the um, ground services. It's already connected to GPU. Okay, let's come up here. Been a while since I've been in this bird. We'll go battery one, 24 volts or higher. There we go. CVR test. Um, Aviation enthusiast says, bro, I wish I had Microsoft Flight Simulator. Rouge there and back, nice. Uh, was that an A319, Eric? Uh, what streaming software do you use? I use OBS. Welcome to the chat. I use OBS, sir. Alright, let's go there, that's good. Nav lights, I already got on, good. Not much to do there in the Phoenix. In the A320 rather. Um, let's come down here. We are in the IAE engines, by the way. We got these beautiful IAE engines we're rocking today. Um, I don't know how you got all those displays and stuff on the top yet. It took a while to uh, research all that and learn. It's uh, The overlay is from Stream Elements, though, if you must know. Uh, 21 March to 17th of April. It's 10th of April, so we're good with the nav database. It's active. Um, let's go to AOC menu, flight initialization, and go there. Flight number United 236. And again, we are united, so let's hope uh, everything goes well. Let's hope there's no incidents today. Although it is an Airbus, so we should be fine. All right. Uh, 236, Reno to Vancouver alternate. Uh, I don't even know what that was. I forgot what that code is for. But uh, maybe Victoria or something like that. Um, good. And then we'll go init. Init request. Again, we are UAL236. Let's see what our cost index and all that good stuff is today. Uh, where was it? OFP. Cost indexing 42, cruising 380, and ice is minus 4. 380, minus 50, or minus 4, so minus 64. Let's initialize the IRSs and grab the wind data here. And smash that like button if you're just joining us. We'd appreciate a like to be smashed if you so enjoy the content. CTAF, uh, KRNO, let's see. CTAF frequency is 118.7. 18.7. How long does this CTAF stuff go for? Is it like a, it's just a trial period, right? So it shouldn't go on for too long. A few months, I don't know. 118 decimal seven, good. Um, we are on VHF one and let's turn that bad boy up. All right, uh, good. Let's go to our flight plan and see what we're working with here. According to my flight plan here, I am departing out of 17 right via the Zephyr 8 to whatever that is. Uh, 17 right, right? Is that what I just said? Okay, 17 right. 
So departure off runway 17 right via the Zephyr 8. Blah, 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 blah. And insert. And YVR arrival is going to be Lion 2 to 26 left via booth. So Eyeless 26 left. Uh, Lion 2, no transition, okay, insert, good, let's have a look-see, constraints, constraints, so, um, let me get my charts out here, Navigraph, We know airport chart Zephyr eight off seventeen right. <laughs> seventeen left and right, Clement heading one six seven to forty nine twenty, then direct Zephyr on depicted route. Okay, so seventeen twenty or uh, forty nine twenty and then Zephyr. And then uh, we are going to Bravo Lomi, Bra Bravia Lomio, <laughs> Bravo Lima Kilo, Juliet Kilo. So left turn out of here, left turn, left turn out of here. Let's see, left turn, good. All the constraints look to be there. And then via booth, we're gonna join the uh, Lion 2 for straight into 2 6 left. Looks good to moi. Uh, let's go request some boarding. Allegiant, sure, why not? If that's the GSX choice. All right. All right, I did get one of those auto messages from V Pilot saying squawk. Ooh, we got Reno Approach Online. Oh, baby. Open aft cargo, open forward cargo. Okay. Let's do it. We got a PDC from... Okay, so let's check the ATIS then. Let's do this properly since we got ATC online now. 135.8. Let's check that first. 135... Glad we got some ATC. That's a good start. 2.3. Altimeter 3016. Visual approach in use. Landing and departing runway 17 right. 17. Aft shift to parallel runway 316. Ensure correct runway alignment notices to air mission. Runway 26 closed. Brief may call runway assignments and hold short instructions. Brief make assigned altitudes that lies on initial contact. You have information, Quebec. Okay, we got Quebec. Reno Palo International Airport, ATS information, Quebec 215. Approaches 119 or decimal 2. West 070 at 7. West variable between 020 and 110. Visibility 10. Ceiling 25,000 broken. Temperature 23. 3016. Alright, so we'll go on approach. 3016 is th set uh, three times. I see it. <coughs> Excuse me. I can turn those on for now so we don't forget. Alright, let me have a look at my clearance real quick. Excuse me. P departure clearance, uh, United 236. It's going to be the Zephyr 8, so same as, same route as we had. It's always important to check that against Simbrief. Don't just go by your Simbrief route. They might give you a route change, right? So let me check that real quick against Simbrief. So Bravo, Lima, Kilo, Juliet, Kilo transition on the Zephyr 8 SID. And then Wendell, LKV, Foxtrot Uniform, Foxtrot Quebec, Oscar, good. Lima Tango Juliet, good. And then direct flag, direct booth, Lion 2, perfect. So that's my clearance, matches up with what I filed, perfect. That probably wouldn't happen in real life.
you get at least a minor reroute every time, depending on how busy the airport is. Um, and then uh, altitude 380, squawk 2235. Climb via the SID, ex expect uh, 380, 1 minutes after, and 119.2. Okay, 2235. So let's set the squawk so I don't forget. Good. So IRSs are aligned. Let's go up here and do a quick APU fire test. Alright, that checks. We're going to come here. Let's get our mass and balance. So we're expecting 124 really? It's a light plane today. Passengers, 124, yeah, okay. 4,000 uh, pounds, 4,100 pounds of cargo today, and we got... So we're not going to be anywhere near our landing weight, max landing weight, so I'll take a little bit more as usual, so 17.7, whatever, that's good for me. Apply and load. Uh, instant, that's fine with me. And then we can uh, send this to the McDo, which is beautiful. 123.04 uh, and 28.5. Yep. What's our uh, fuel breakdown? Let's see here. So today we are expecting 1.4 in the contingent, 2.4 on the alternates, 1.4. 2.4 uh, final reserves is 2.3 and taxi fuel 0 0.5 2.3 and 0.5 over here good and what is our trip wind I usually don't enter that 271 at 48 so out of the uh, west yeah it doesn't let me eh? 271 at 48 okay does it want the uh, oh yeah that's for the uh, component so minus 13 so we got a headwind yeah, it doesn't take it like, like the fly-by-wire does. Anyway, performance. Uh, let's go over here to our performance tool. Departure off 17 right. Flaps optimal. Pack's going to be on. Sync the load sheet. Uh, 0707. <coughs> Excuse me. Calculate. So 29, 35, 35, two, up 0.2 on the trim, 62 on the flex temp, and 54, 20 on the altitudes. Happy with that. Send to make do. And two, up 0.2. So I don't think I can, yeah, it's not pressurized. Okay. So remember to do the trim, but pretty much done here. We got our, I don't know why our reverses always get uh, deployed like that. I'm going to pressurize the uh, hydraulic pump. You hear the PTU barking? Alright. Oh yeah, because... My throttles were in reverse, okay. That should stow now. All right, reverses are stowed, good, good, good. So I'm gonna go ahead and depressurize this now. All right, we got a company message, just clear that real quick. Good, and boarding complete. Good, 
reset position and let's start the um, APU seatbelt signs APU we got 1770 on board 17700 And um, initial climb. So we got climb via the SID, which is 190 on the top altitude. Good. APU coming alive. All right, APU is available. So let's go APU bleed and get rid of external ground control for that and beacon lights going on. We are good for engine start. Let's go over here and get rid of our ground services. Parking brakes are set and accumulator pressures in the green, good. Let's go ahead and get rid of, close the doors. So for our pushback, we're gonna push back nose to the right for 17 right. We'll call up approach and ask for taxi. Hi Minari, welcome, welcome. Hello, going to Vancouver. Roger. I want to push back nose right. Release parking brakes, please. It's commencing push. It's all engines clear. Start at will. Roger, we'll start engine number one, sequence number two. Thank you. All right. Let's give her. Got in two. pressure fuel flow
So we got information Quebec 070 at 7. We're doing runway 17. So a little bit of crosswind from the left. But it is variable from 020 to 110. Okay, checked. Those beautiful IAEs firing up. Oh yeah, I feel the bass. I hope the sound comes through translates into the stream the way I'm hearing it in my ear. Tow truck disconnected, bypass and removed. Roger, thank you. Left is clear, right is clear. Skywise Aviation, hello. Welcome, welcome. All right, there goes the relay. We got two good engine starts. APU bleed off, APU off. Up 0.2 on the trim. We'll go over here. So up 0.2 is set and flaps were two. Good. Auto brakes max, ground spoilers armed. All right. Let's do a flight control test real quick. Takeoff config, good, except the cabin. I am well, how about you on this beautiful Wednesday? Flight control test, full left, neutral. We're getting great weather here in Toronto, so I'm happy. I'm in such a good mood today. Full aft, neutral and forward, neutral on the elevators and rudder check. Full right, neutral, full left, neutral. All right, flight control test complete. And approach is online and we are United 236. Approach hello United 236 with Quebec, ready taxi 17 right. United 236 NorCal approach, thank you for Quebec, runway 17 right, taxi via Alpha. 17 right, taxi via Alpha, United 236. Let's go. Block time's going on. Off we go. All right, Alpha's gonna be a left right here. 17 right. We are clear on the right and clear on the left. Just about to set up my Phoenix EGPH to uh, Echo Gulf Lima Lima. Nice. Enjoy. Did you just buy the Phoenix? You won't regret that beautiful aircraft. Love flying this. Easy taxi today. Love the wine of those um, IAE engines. Cabin's trying to call us up. The cabin is now secure for takeoff. Thank you. Had it for a while now? Okay. Oh, you just meant you're just setting it up for a flight today. I got you. I got you. I thought you meant you're like you're initially setting it up. Busy building an A320. Oh, baby. Man, those are crazy. Dude, you have to join our Discord and post some pictures. 
I would love to see that. I always say in chat, I'm like, my dream is to uh, make one of those crazy home cockpits. I don't know if I would do it for the 7.3 or for the A320 or, or something like else, though. Yeah, whoever wants to join our Discord is exclamation point Discord in chat. It'll show you the invite link. Um, let me get my Navigraph out here. All right, taxi via Alpha, so it's the next one coming up. Uh, do you are you gonna post stuff on your AV uh, YouTube channel Skywise about your home cockpit? Would uh, love to see that. Two thirty six runway one seven right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff one seven right, United uh, two thirty six. Can we get a wind check? Yep, uh, wind zero six zero at seven. Thank you. All right, one seven right, clear for takeoff. Cabin crew, please be seated for departure. I was like trying to bring up the cam and made me do such a terrible lineup. All right, let's fix that. All right, let's hear these uh, IAEs whine a little bit. Stable, set takeoff thrust. Okay, man flex 62 SRS runway, auto thrust blue, check. Takeoff thrust, set. Nuts. V1, let her fly. Pause the rate. Gear up. Gear up. Nav, check. Hey, right, 236, radar contact, altitude. Passing 5,400, United 236. Roger, thanks. Plus climb, climb, out of thrust. Flaps one. Let's build up that speed a little bit. Flaps clean. Beautiful. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Thank you. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. That's got to be a glitch. All right, let's disarm the uh, ground spoilers and... Looking forward to 2024? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Can't wait. I'm just not looking forward to having to reinstall everything from scratch, but what are you going to do? 
I've done that one too many times. All right, beautiful left turn coming up here. Let's keep hand flying. It's actually, uh, feels like pretty stable air. It's not too bumpy. Uh, Chantaleguanu, welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. Reno, we out. See ya. Climbing out of 10,000 feet. Over 10,000 for that, so the good for the, uh, and over 11,000 there for the constraint. I uh, hope there's not much uh, bugs <laughs> yet. Yeah, it's uh, probably there will be, just not, let's hope it's less than 2020. Hopefully it'll come out working pretty good out of the box. So I'm assuming all these aircrafts, add-ons, and sceneries that we bought are, uh, I'm hoping they are um, compatible with Pressurization check, cabin altitude 6,500 uh, feet a minute, climbing delta P 2.9 and going up. Most are meant to be, yeah, I hope so. All right, let's speed it up. Bugging 290 knots for the climb mode, the managed climb. turn off the terrain let's go autopilot bring you guys over here guys hit that like button if you haven't already I'd really appreciate it Climbing one nine or zero. So he never cleared us higher. And NorCal for United two thirty six. Uh, we, we're at the top altitude. One flight level one nine zero on this set. Uh, can we get higher? United two thirty six. Uh, I see you at one six thousand. My airspace ends at uh, flight one nine or zero. Uh, Oakland oh, okay. Center's offline radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good flight. Or Unicom uh, United 236. Thanks for the ATC. See ya. All right, so let's just keep going to 380 and uh, 122.8 coming in. 122.8 checked.
love the terrain here. Seatbelt signs coming off. Uh, YVR. YVR. We're going to YVR. So it's going to give us ground charge 10 9 like this, and then we're going to go back, go to arrival, get the Alliant 2 for 2 6 left, 2 6 right. That's correct. And then what else do we need? The approach for 2 6 left, just do an ILS uh, 2 6 left. So on the Lion 2, I want to come in from Booth to Vitev. So I want to be at Stave. And since we're going straight in, I'll aim for the bottom part of that altitude restriction for our descent planning. So Stave at 9,200. We'll just call it 10,000 at Stave. We're going to go up to 380. So that's 28 to lose. <coughs> Times that by 3. We'll call it like 84 plus 3. 87 out from Stave will start our descent. So we'll put a fixed ring around Stave for extra situational awareness for our descent. Uh, it's going to be this one. Stave. Call it 87 miles out. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so there's our descent. Fix ring, good. I mean, Ari says, uh, I want to see how the Richmond Harbor Air Place, how does it work in the, how does it look in the flight sim? Richmond Harbor, is that where the uh, Harbor Air goes? All those seaplanes? Maybe we can check it out in the, in drone mode after we land or something. Um, okay, good. So that's good to go. And uh, let's do our f uh, extended runway center line around 26 left, which will be final approach course 263. So 093 or 083 rather. CYVR runway 26 left. Put a fixer on that threshold and then put uh, 083 on the radio. And then we'll go 10 mile fix ring. And then we'll do that again for the 5 mile fix ring. It really, I find it really helps on my uh, approach now I, to know when to bring down the gear and everything. I'm like, can't do without these fix rings. 083 actually I don't need a radio on this I'll just put uh, 5 mile alright looks good
Skywise Aviation exclamation point specs exclamation point specs in chat and you'll see all of it. I have a 4080 Super. Beautiful. I'm going to take a screenshot right here for the Discord. Look at the uh, map where we are. So we just departed Reno. Hopefully we get some ATC online. Uh, are you on TT? What's that? What's TT? one departure currently out of uh, Vancouver but hopefully we'll get uh, Vancouver Center online we'll see how it goes Yeah, I have a Navigraph subscription. I use it. Yes, sir. Can't do without Navigraph. So all these charts and stuff are uh, from the Navigraph subscription, Skywise Aviation. I'm going to get out our uh, Lion 2 arrival chart and uh, we'll roll with that yeah I can't do without it Skywise I've had it for like two three years two and a half years been busy on your own flight how's that going yeah I gotta do that flight one time to Edinburgh Edinburgh not Edinburgh Edinburgh to uh, London You ever get uh, flat, flat airs? <laughs> no, I have not. I have yet to get flat earthers in chat. <laughs> we try not to talk about those those things. YouTube is uh, kind of strict. Getting ready to uh, take off. Nice. Man, it's so peaceful to fly the Phoenix. It's like therapeutic. 
Just because like it's the least amount of work involved out of all the aircrafts. <laughs> so the pilot is just chilling. Love my Phoenix streams. Uh, land on runway 24 at Edinburgh. Um, um, I love that approach. Interesting. Echo Golf Papa Hotel was it? Actually, I'll uh, let me have a look at what you're talking about. I'll keep this here, and then on the side, let me get my navigraph. So you're saying runway two four at Edinburgh, okay? NDB ILS, interesting. Edinburgh NDB. ILS DME runway 14. Aircraft unable to receive DME advice. ATC radar ranges will be provided at 12 mile nautical mile outbound and inbound. So there's a little DME arc 12 miles from ITH. ILS DME, okay. That looks spicy. That looks like such a nice approach. It kind of brings you on a downwind. To a nine mile final. Okay, interesting. Looks like there's a little procedure turn there too. Yeah, we should fly to uh, Edinburgh. I think KW Airlines also requested that in chat before. So we got a ground speed of 417, a little bit of headwinds today. You turn in from the left and see the river forth and the three bridges in the distance. Nice. Yeah, it seems like a pretty approach. Let's get a weather check in Vancouver. Four zero at five. Overcast twenty four hundred or two four zero. Okay, overcast twenty four thousand. Wow. A few clouds four thousand eight hundred thirteen thousand. Good visibility. Winds are pretty calm. Cumulonimbus traces. Also cumulus traces. Okay. <clears throat> so two four zero at five and thirteen degrees thirty twenty eight. the McDo says or the EFP rather so this one's as of 12 minutes ago this one's okay it's matching 24085 perfect all right and uh, 3028 and 13 degrees still kind of cool in Vancouver what's the ILS minimums Two oh seven. And let's see, according to our prog page, 
we don't even need to go to product right here we have eight uh Haminari says always cold it's warmer than toronto skyway says uh join the discord glad to have you thanks for joining i can't wait to see your uh home cockpit you're building man so we're expecting to land with 8,000 on board. Currently we have 14. So that's about 6,000 less. We'll say 5,000 less than what we currently have for our gross weight. Uh, what's our gross weight right now? 137. So we'll say one, 132,000 pounds is going to be our 132,000 pounds is going to be our gross weight for landing. Um, so 132, apply the meter, auto brake slow and max reverse. So we need a factored landing distance of 7,400 feet. We have uh, 10,800 on available in Vancouver and it's pretty dry. So auto brake slow are definitely going to work. I'll select that. Let's say hi, hi to Sky uh, Wise Aviation. Hello. There he is. So th this channel, Sky Wise, is for you know it's called not so simple issues. This is we usually use this channel when there's like issues for the sim. So if you want to troubleshoot or you have any questions for from anyone, in general, when we're just shooting the shit, it's gonna be in the chat uh, chat channel. I got some shenanigans channels for miscellaneous stuff like food, photography. This one killed me, Scott. Um, like walking your cat. I tried doing that with my cat once, but he just like jumped into a garden and he wouldn't come out. I was like, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> well, yeah, welcome, uh, welcome. How many says I'm gonna try to join the Discord? Yeah, go ahead. Exclamation point Discord in chat. That's funny, the Nightbot like gave its program message right when I typed that too, about the Discord. Alright, we got a company message here. ADC delay code for 46 minutes, no problem. I'm going to go ahead and uh, blame it on the uh, dispatch. Let's see, I have some upcoming uh, plane spotting stuff to uh, post. So you guys are getting an exclusive look at the next few aircrafts that are going to be posted on the channel. I haven't even posted these as shorts yet. Let's see, I'll show you guys the good ones. We've got a Dreamliner coming in. Oh yeah, looking forward to the A380 and uh, I'm looking forward to the PMDG 777. We got a heavy KLM.
butter on the, with a little bit of a crosswind too. Got the dash shape. Beautiful. That was as smooth as a Dash 8 landing could get. Got a CRJ here. Uh, if you were to ask me that question Skywise, like even a year ago, I would have said Boeing, but with everything going on with Boeing, uh, now I would say Airbus. But my favorite aircraft is still the 737-800. I love that aircraft. Oh, 767. You don't see many of those anymore. That was pretty smooth too. This is like a low cost Canadian uh, airline, jet lines. Oh yeah, that was a butter. Beauty. Westjet 737 700. Uh, I'll be back in 15 minutes, but uh, I'll stay in here. Yep, roger that. We got over here Embraer E175. Beautiful. So I'm going to post all these in the days coming up. Aminari, welcome. 
Let's check you out. Oh, Hamanari is in the Discord. Join the party. Welcome, welcome. See how long we got. Uh, according to our fix, three forty-seven to go. I'm gonna go selected speed, and we're gonna s speed up this puppy a little bit. Help us get there a little bit faster. The ground speed's going up, there we go. And uh, I can do it from here as well. Let's do cost index index, see if we do 99, what'll bug if I go managed mode. Still not as fast as I had, okay, so I'll keep my own managed speed, 0.8. Selected speed point it. We'll keep that to Vancouver. I gotta get some more water, guys. I'll be right back. Nahara, uh, subscribe to the channel. Welcome, Nahara. Thanks for the subscription. Appreciate you. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some more water, guys.
All right, back with you guys. Look at those textures, oh my goodness. I'm gonna take a screenshot of just the textures on the vertical stab. Pocket of unstable air there, got a little shaky. About 300 uh, nautical miles out from top of descent. I've never been on an Airbus, but the aircrafts I've gone on were the 737 800, 700, uh, single otter seaplane, 787 900, and a Dash AQ400. I'm looking forward to going on an Airbus when I go to Japan. Nice. Maybe the Japan Airlines A350, those are nice. Do you prefer Japan Airlines or uh, ANA? Because I love ANA. I would love to fly with uh, ANA to uh, Japan one time. Haminari. It's nice that you've been on a seaplane. When I was visiting Vancouver a couple years ago, I was thinking of uh, going on a seaplane on Vancouver Harbor there with uh, Harbor Air just on those little tours but it just never happened a and a pretty safe airline yeah very nice i did a japan stream uh not too long ago it was actually last month Haminari right here. Where was it? Right here. We flew on my birthday actually from uh, Kensai region, or Osaka to um, Haneda. Such a beautiful approach. I was coming back to uh, Osaka. Got ourselves a little butter. Good stream that was.
Ooh, we got a little mountains. doing around 443 knots across the ground right now can't really go any faster than this about 250 miles ish from our top of the set looks like we're not gonna have any uh, ATC in Vancouver I hope it comes online but Otherwise, I'm going to go to CTAF frequency, which is for Vancouver. Actually, Vancouver is in Canadian airport, so no CTAF. Yeah, it says no CTAF frequency was found for YVR in V-Pilot. All right, sounds good to me. We'll just stay on Unicom, old-fashioned way. If you're watching this and enjoying the stream help us out by hitting that like button absolutely free doesn't cost you anything and would support the channel would appreciate it guys the more likes the better
Notify me when you start the approach. Should be starting our approach in about... Let's say half an hour. I think half an hour. All the Vatsim's coverage seems to be on the uh, East Coast today. 
We got Miami online, Jacksonville, Atlanta, Memphis, Washington Center. We even got Toronto Center, Montreal Center. Nothing in the West. There we are. Not too far out from Vancouver. We're in the middle of the state of Washington. Cast below for the descent. Let's get a fuel check. So Lima Tango Juliet, we're forty miles out. We have. 11.2 tons of fuel according to Simbrief uh, we need by LTJ how much fuel do I need eight point nine and we took like a thousand extra so nine point nine ten. Okay, so we're doing good for fuel. About 160 to descent. We got a beautiful mountain peak. I'm not sure which one it is over here. Look at that. Screenshot. I wonder what peak, what's the name of those? Snow caps. Ooh, we're one like away from ten. Smash the like button if you haven't already. Fuel used, pretty balanced. Oil quantity is looking good. Oil pressure is looking good. Oil temperature is looking good. Vibration ratios look good. We're bleeding from the intermediate pressure, um, intermediate stage, and 40, 40, 200 degrees, and we're feeding the uh, packs. Cabin pressure looks good to me. We got good uh, volts, good frequencies. IDGs one and two working good. Powering the buses. Hydraulic quantities look good. 
Hydraulic pressure 3000. Fuel looks pretty balanced, 60 pound difference here. That's fine. 40 pound difference, beautifully managed. Fuel temperature is good. Nice 76 degrees in the cockpit. I wonder what that is in uh, Celsius. 76 is 24 degrees. It's a little bit uh, warm in here actually. I'm gonna go a little bit cooler and uh, actually the cabin would appreciate a little bit cooler as well. I'm gonna go here. Those should come down a little bit. Love the Phoenix's modeling. There we go. It's cockpit cooling down. In about eight minutes, I'm going to request new weather data down in Vancouver. I'm going to actually check it right here. It's the same information still. Vortex says, what's up? Well, welcome, Vortex. Welcome, welcome. Just chilling in the A320. Ready to land at one of my favorite destinations in Canada. Well, my favorite destination in Canada, which is Vancouver. Look at that. Take a nice screenshot right here. about to pass these beautiful peaks. This is the difference with Microsoft and X-Plane. It does not look this pretty in X-Plane and uh, I can only imagine how much better it would look hopefully in Microsoft 2024. Can't wait just a few months till it comes out I guess. In the summer, right? Look at this. Damn. Screenshot.
see that beautiful mountain coming to into our window view here. Let's actually go to the back of the plane. Holy moly, look how look, look how nice that this looks. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Screenshot. This is why I love flying to Vancouver. Look at those valleys. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, is this real life? Like right now, chat? This is real life, right? Wow. Very nice. What a nice cruise. Holy moly, screenshots galore. How could you not?
posted Monday's uh, screenshots to Discord because I had forgotten. So that's when we, when we uh, went to Austin. Look at that beautiful sky. That was really cool. Alright, let's see if we got uh, new weather information. It's 01 past UTC, so it's 12.01 UTC. So if we go to Aitatsu Charlie Yankee Victor Romeo It looks like it's the same information, so we'll roll with this for our descent. It's already in the box. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the uh, seatbelt signs. So we are 240 at five for the wind, 30, 28, and 13 degrees good. So that's already up to date. And uh, 0037 is when we're arriving, so about 35 minutes and it's 13 degrees. All right, let me do the uh, PAX announcement. So toggle the seatbelts. And... Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, this year, Captain speaking on behalf of United Airlines. I'd like to thank you for joining us on this service to Vancouver. If you look, uh, if you're located on the left side of the aircraft right now, and you look over your, uh, look out the window, you will see a beautiful peak, snow-capped mountain uh, in Washington State. Here, it's absolutely stunning. We should have you down to the ground in about uh, 35 minutes, and it's 13 degrees centigrade down in Vancouver. A few clouds. Again, on behalf of United, uh, if there's anything we can do to make the remainder of your uh, flight more enjoyable, please don't hesitate to ask. Cabin crew will come around in about uh, five minutes to make sure your seatbelts are secured, your uh, tray table stowed, and your seats in the most upright position. We ask that you remain seated for the remainder of the flight and follow the cabin crew's instructions at all times. Again, on behalf of United, uh, your uh, cabin crew and uh, first officer, this is Captain Simple. I'd like to welcome you aboard and uh, thank you for choosing United. Cabin crew, please prepare the cabin for arrival. Thank you. Got a few clouds under us.
So you want to be at 9,000 or higher by GoPad. The McDo is calculating our descent a little bit later. It wants us at Steve at 11 or 12,000. GoPad, 9,000 or higher. Mogus, 7,000 or higher. It has us at 8,200. Obot, 5,000 or higher. And Goreg, or uh, Savid for 2.6 left. 3,000. Skywise back. Welcome, welcome. We're about to uh, start an approach pretty soon. So, Optot 5,000 or higher. Savit 3,000 or higher. time I'll check oh there we go we got new information 2806 overcast 24,000 1207 3027 so let's update that real quick Thirty twenty-seven twelve 12 and Just been enjoying this juicy terrain. Look at that. Alright, we got about 14 miles from Booth to Stave. You want to be at around 10,000 for Stave. Uh, we got 99 to go to Booth. So that's like 113 miles. I only need like 87 before Stave to start my descent. So in about... When this goes to like 65, we'll start our descent. 65 out from uh, booth so we'll delete this fixed ring for now don't need it anymore let's get a little outside view 
Oh, 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 look at that. Wow. Flight Sim has come a long way. Alright, I'm gonna let the Airbus handle the speed now. Twenty miles till top of drop. Wonder what 2024 will look like? Oh yeah. I can't imagine it looking much better than this. I mean, this almost looks like real life. <laughs> Alright, 10 miles till I stop my descent. Alright, I'm ready to start a descent. Are you? Yes, Cap, let's start. Alright, toggle that and uh, let's go. Might want to select an altitude to descend to first, Captain. Let's go all the way down to 10,000. Seattle Center is online, but we're about to exit his airspace, so I'm not going to contact him unless he asks me to. So you guys can see Seattle Center just came online a minute ago. This is us, but we're just about to get out, so I doubt he's going to tell me to contact him. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to go to um, liveatc.net and put some real ATC on for... Uh,
our arrival instead of music. And this is gonna be Vancouver. What should we listen to? Vancouver Approach, maybe? Let's listen to Vancouver Approach. I'm gonna pause the music now. We'll listen to what's going on in real life ATC around Vancouver. So good. So, uh, for everyone ready now, we're going to check tower 119 or 5550. State of discretion and 119, no, not Here comes pro profile now, thrust idle. Hopefully it won't dive bomb us too much. Beautiful Phoenix cabin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Shouldn't be doing 5,000 feet a minute. It should calculate us descent that sooner, so to me that's messed up. But we'll uh, go full spoilers here until we catch the profile again. This is what happens when you go with the top of descent from the McDo rather than your own calculation. There we go. Alright, it finished its dive bomb, now it's uh now we're looking good.
now the descent rate should be somewhat reasonable Vancouver traffic United 236 approaching booth on the Lion 2 arrival for a straight in eyeless approach runway 26 currently descending out of flight level 190 Vancouver traffic all right it's going to be a sharp left turn towards the field speed brakes All right, I'm going to take control of the descent here. And 30.27 was the... 30.27. 30, 30.27. And 30.27. Golf Victor Bravo Sierra. Victor Bravo Sierra, I think it was Vancouver departure, Squawk Red Ant, Alpha 3026, go ahead, your request. Victor Bravo Sierra, uh, requesting 4500 uh, to Quantico Beach. Uh, we are at the Albion at 4000. Victor Bravo Sierra, you are identified. Uh, 4,500 uh, westbound North Shore route is approved. There we go. At least vertical speed, constant vertical speed is a little bit more smoother for the passengers. Two hundred eighty knots for Steve between twelve thousand and nine thousand two hundred. We we'll go all the way down to the bottom of that nine thousand two hundred. Copy Yankee, just confirm your uh, lining seashell. Roger, thank you. The traffic, uh, 11 o'clock, uh, one mile, same direction, uh, hybrid express, level 2,000. Uh, Roger, looking for traffic, Spicy arrival. Going down to 250 knots, and... That's good. Let's do a cabin altitude check. 2.2 and declining, 4,400 cabin altitude. Good for me. All right, speed brakes can go stowed. And after stave, we can go 9,000 or higher. Okay, so pretty much level here. We really had to rush down to uh, meet the uh, constraints here at Steve, but we made it. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It's such a treat every time to fly into Vancouver, man. And there's so many different directions you can come into Vancouver from where it's just every single one of them is beautiful. Mm. 
Alright, we have a uh, selected speed. I guess we'll maintain 250 for now and let's go activate approach phase. Looks like it's already activated for us. Good. Go down to 7,000 after we pass GoPad. Terminal, VORG, park is approved, 3, 32 miles out from the field. Back over traffic United 236, 9,000 feet, 25 miles to the northeast. We're approaching on the Lion 2, our nav arrival for a straight in ILS 26 left, Vancouver. Encore 310, Vancouver departure, identified Alright, we can go nice and slow now. And you want to be at Sabbath at 3,000. Encore 3107, turn right heading 295. Right heading 295, Encore 3107. There's a small little airport here. Departure Pasco, 3071, 1100, climbing 7000, Vancouver 2 departure. Pasco 3071, Vancouver departure, identify, climb maintain 7000. Climb maintain 7000, Pasco 3071. Let's go down to 3000. Speed brakes now. Alright, seven five one six of eighteen three four seven one two thousand from you. Alright, five one six Vancouver runway at twenty six left, mail to speed jump. Two zero two six uh response the uh RNF for service. Gotcha. And your speed is under six. Okay, on the signal speed for service. Arrival Jet 370, flight number 185, and then with Rogel. Yeah, 370, Vancouver, runway 26 right, altimeter 302. 302, Jet 370. Air 056, we turn right, heading 190. Right, there's 190. Right. Alright, looking good. VFE minus 10, flops 1. ASCO 759, Vancouver departure identified 510 pound. Ground spoilers arm.
so nice. Go three zero seven one five nine or south. Grab the localizer. We should get into glide slope now. Roger traffic, uh, eleven o'clock, one zero miles off the direction of beach nineteen hundred level one zero thousand. Alright, let's uh, hand fly this. Let's go lights, lights. Cabin crew, please prepare for landing. I'm gonna maintain level at uh, field in sight. Let's get the uh, replay going. All right, my aircraft. Go seven five nine. Proceed direct three along course. Two thousand five hundred. Looking for the traffic. Let's go. Air north five six three. Contact bank for tower now. One one nine five five. Tower nineteen fifty five. Good air. All right. Flaps two, speed check. Flaps two. Pasco three zero seven one, turn right heading zero three zero. Right turn Forgot to arm the approach. Oops. Light slope, star, we'll catch it, no problem. Alright, gear down. There we go, got the glide. Flaps three, speed check, flaps three. And flaps four. Okay, cabin ready, you can't memo, landing no blue. Landing checklist complete. Vancouver traffic, United 236 on a five mile final runway, 26 left Vancouver. We are lit up and good to go. Winds are calm, there's basically nothing. Pasco 3071, contact Vancouver Center 1344. 1344, Pasco 3071. Harbor Express 611, descend at 3000. One surveillance service ter terminated. I'm in RE, welcome. Tower 12565 for lower. 611, uh, descending, and we'll talk to the Taj. Pasco 5567, unrestricted 3000. Then unrestricted 3000, Pasco 5500. 500, check. Mr. Pochamp, tooth set. Yeah, 
minimum landing Pasco seven five nine contact home on terminal one two three decimal seven one point one a little bit firm okay Spoilers, reverse green, diesel. I gotta get a hang of the Phoenix again, that could have been smoother. But, welcome down to Vancouver. Vacate on Lima two. Yeah, it could have been a little bit smoother, but one point one G's, I'll still take that. Welcome down to beautiful Vancouver. Skyway says not smiling. Nice one, man. Thanks, man. It could have definitely been smoother. I'm used to the 7.3 because I haven't flown this aircraft in a while, but next time we'll get the butter. Hour and 47 minutes on the uh, flight time. You can stop that. Vancouver traffic, United 236, clear of runway 26, left taxiing to the terminal via Lima, crossing 13 at Lima, Vancouver. Power 516, turn left heading 330. Left heading 330, turn left heading 330. I was pretty happy with the approach there, that was fun. I want you down to 200, heading 10,000, Okay, 299 Vancouver, runway 26 right, Romeo's current now, and there are no speed restrictions. Unrestricted, uh, check 26 right, and, uh, uh, 299, unrestricted on the speed. Roger. Pass full 556, tower now, 118. 1187. We got the beautiful F Sim Studios Vancouver yeah, scenery. Unrestricted to 3000. Unrestricted 3000, check 370. Okay, 765, speed 230, north, descend to 8000. B230, descend 8,000, Roger. We're crossing 13 at Lima. 6, descend 2,000. Clear on the left and clear on the right. Let's clean it up. Left heading 290, cleared RNAV, runway 26. Left heading 290, cleared the... Uh Turn up, uh, 26 left, turn up, Ladies and gentlemen. And Air Canada 555, I think you're trying to check your trying to get. Yeah, you're ready to step down in Air Canada 555, check it down, another 10 1 3000, 900 for 1 2000. Canada 555, Roger, runway 26 right, altimeter, 026. 026, 026, 026, 026, 026, 026, 026, 026, Man, this looks so good. I'll just take any gate right here. Why not? Shot right five one six contact Vancouver Tower one one eight seven. Let's turn off the taxi light so we don't blind them. Looks exactly in real life too, yeah. 
370 flying 230 descend to 2000, clear to RNF approach runway 26. 230 descend to 2000, clear RNF 26 by Jeff. All right. Welcome down to Vancouver. APU is available. APU bleed. Engine two, engine one, squawk. Good. Let's look at the. Uh, Okay, less than 5% N1, beautiful. Let's go beacon lights off and seatbelt signs off. The boarding requested, beautiful. One hour and 56 minutes on the block time, hour 47 on the flight time. We can go ahead and kill the fuel pumps. And that goes on, that goes on, and we'll turn these off since the last flight of the day. All right. Jet six zero contact Vancouver Center one three four four goodbye. Three four four Jet six zero. Vancouver Tower one one nine zero five five. One one nine zero five five Jet three seven two. Let's take a screenshot. Vancouver Arrival at Canada one one nine passing thirteen thousand two hundred. That looks so beautiful. Air Canada one one nine Vancouver Arrival runway two six right the altimeter three zero two six. Three zero two six. Three zero two six in Canada, one one nine. Canada five fifty five, Welcome to beautiful Vancouver, folks. Oh my goodness. Let's check out downtown real quick. I would love to play some golf here. Beautiful golf course, oh my goodness. Always a treat flying into Vancouver in the sim. I never get sick of it. Vancouver is like my home base in the sim. Although I'm actually in Toronto. Would rather be right here. Oh my gosh. Look how good that looks. Where's Granville Island? Is this Granville Island? Where's the harbor, Minar um, Haminari, that you're talking about? Take a little screenshot there. You got the cruise ships and everything. I remember all this from 2022. All right, let's go back to the airport area. It's near the airport somewhere you're saying, so yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not familiar with any other harbors. Actually, I think I do know what you're talking about. It's kind of far. These are the bridges that give you access to the airport. It looks beautiful, Skywise Aviation, trust me. 
I was in awe when I visited there in real life. I was like, I should be living right here. Um, but yeah, not, not too sure where the harbor is, Haminari. We'll check it out next time. Look at that. I need to get those uh, scenery packs. Yeah, it's called F Sim Studios Vancouver. It's pretty. Uh, it's by the runway. It's pretty uh, reasonably priced as well. Um. Left turn heading three five zero. Air Canada two nine nine. Contact Vancouver Tower one one nine five five. 1955 or Canada, 299. Even the uh, monorail that serves the airport, Skytrain, I think they call it, is modeled in this scenery. The monorail station. 165 to send 3000. Oh, I think this is what you're talking about. Canada 119, turn right heading 230 to join the localizer runway 263. Couple seaplanes here. That's the harbor I think Haminari was referring to. Look how nice that looks, man. Serene. Harbor Air, sea planes. This is all part of the F Sim Studio scenery, I think. You got the Harbor Airs over here. I think this is the one you're talking about. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, that one. I'm gonna do a hold on. Let me slow this down so I can do a proper screenshot. Yeah, we'll do a screenshot right there. Like this. Vancouver Terminal 3500 northbound approved 26 is active. The URQE works as well. Vancouver Terminal 3026. Terminal 3026 says the URQE works as well. Thank you. Uh, terminal, good day. Terminal 3302. Follow on company ahead here for uh, the URQE if it works for you as well. Uh, Rick Stress 302, Vancouver Terminal, good day. All uh, clearance requested there. Vancouver Terminal 3026. Fall company. 302, fall company. Thanks. And we got the south terminal where the GA aircraft are as well. I'm gonna get it tomorrow when I'm back on, yeah. It's uh, really good on performance too. Very, very, very nice scenery. Five seven eight to send seven thousand. That's forward speed. Seven thousand. Maintain one six thousand. All right. Let's uh, watch the replay and we'll get out of here, guys. Even the inside's modeled. Got your Tim Hortons coffee shop. If you know, you know. Air Canada 519, contact Victoria Terminal 12107. Goodbye. 3107, Air Canada 519. Jazz 806, turn left, heading 140. Beautiful. Left, what's 40, Jazz 806? Encore 3183, clear direct active pass, safe pass, 7 arrival, short delay for hire. 
And people are floating. Alright, let's get this bad boy ready for the replay. Let's check our landing rate first. Um, Encore 3183, climb 4000. So, landing rate, we got 231, 1.12 Gs. I'll take that. 0.99 Gs on uh, Sim Toolkit Pro and uh, 289. Felt pretty smooth to me. Alright. Let's get the replay going. We'll select the flaps full and ground spoilers armed. Encore 3183, contact Victor, I'm 12545, goodbye. 2545, Encore 3183, goodbye. I appreciate all you guys who are in chat today. Haminari and the Skywise, welcome to the Discord as well. Vortex and uh, Aviation Enthusiast and Scott, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I will see y'all next time. Let's go ahead and go replay. Victor Bravo, Sarah, thank you. Air count 537, turn left, heading 200. Turn left, heading 200, Canada 537. Roger. Ah, I forgot to close our doors and shit. Whoops. Hello, Carson, I live in the back with you. All right, whatever. Ignore the cargo door being open. Thank you for watching Skywise. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Welcome to the channel, man. Glad to have you. Look at this. Bring it in. Yeah, felt a little bit firm, but in the touchdown zone, we'll take it. Hi right, guys, enjoy the rest of the replay and uh, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday evening. Thanks for watching and smash that like button on your way out if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate getting to 10 likes at least. Hi right, guys, enjoy, take care, see ya.
from the ashes. <laughs>